listening to Gas Digital, Best of the Week. Could make you cry. That's when you want to make your Irish goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. Like, we probably both are has been athletes oh yeah yeah 100 oh, as, as evidenced as, by the uh new york comedy festival basketball tournament which you're gonna play in next year oh, i can't wait to hear oh, about it. it yeah yeah i mean let's just talk about it now <laughs> please give me a recap because i mean so new york comedy festival they had this uh this charity <laughs> basketball tournament that comedy records was putting together yeah he at- told me about it yesterday yeah it was at baruch college i mean this is a full College basketball, <laughs> full court. We're playing 12 minute quarters, and this is nothing. And they said it was running time until the last minute, but it stopped every dead ball. Yeah. It was a two hour game. <gasps> yeah. What? And oh, by the way, halftime was about forty-eight seconds. There was yeah. no break. Was where anyone mic'd up? They played a half a jock jam and then put us <laughs> yeah. right back on the. No, well, court. they had they had comedians doing the commentary, the oh. color commentary and stuff, but we were. We just so you we had a tired good, talking. About uh, it. I just am like my back starting to hurt. Starting to my, tighten I up. I have a huge black and blue on my hip <laughs> still. From him. So well, from uh, Rafi something. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> let's start from the beginning because we had a good we had a good team. It was like you know me, you, Lauren Saloch, Emilio yeah. from New York Comedy Club. We had Rojo Perez, all these other people. On the other that team one, was that one woman from APA who I forget her name, but Kelly? she played she played uh, college ball in Ithaca. Wow. She was and so she was like really an good. Agent or yeah. Manager? Yeah. 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 And, she's you, great. and everyone's like passing her the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, she crossed Mike over. <laughs> she didn't because she was on our team. <laughs> well, no, no, she wasn't on our team. Yes, the blonde woman that was on. Then who's the other girl that crossed you over? She didn't cross me over. She. Kicked the fucking ball when I crossed Mike, her over, Mike and then fell, I hit the goddamn Mike deck. Mike fell in the I first fell thirty fucking time. He fell thirty in the first thirty seconds of the. Everyone's like, she everyone's like, oh guys, ankles. listen, the problem yeah, she did, with she did. No, <laughs> she every, didn't. I had the ball, goes, you cocksucker. Yeah, and I had the like, ball, and I shook the shit out of her. You broke your own ankle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She goes well, like, this is the problem. This is the problem. No, no. She goes like this. Everyone's like, oh my god, Mike Cannon. Have you heard about how he always talks about basketball? He's gonna be so good, and then he comes up. He's like running the ball up with the point and then he's like uh, a girl let me deal with this and then all of a sudden you just hear K-kunk, and you look over and Mike's on the ground and everyone's like Mike's upset First Mike's all, upset that's not what happened. <laughs> he's really upset what happened was I caught an outlet spun beautifully <laughs> she stepped really close I, I bu- went left crossed right she stuck her right foot out it hit her foot my knee hit her foot I fell as ungracefully as humanly possible, <laughs> possible into a then pile of picked, bones then she picked up the oh. ball the ball went out of bounds. Yeah. I fell down. I hurt my elbow. I started whining, and then yeah. I, that was it. But that was one of seven falls. So yeah. what happened during the game? So, let's get it. Yeah, he's, let me just he's, say he's, something. He's the only one that fell. The problem? No, I wasn't. A lot of people fell. A lot of people. But you were fell. involved I in all those falls. Fall. Yeah. What happened during the game? He's competitive is, about falling. Yeah, I fell the hardest. I fell the hardest and the longest and the most often and the most often. Yeah. No. So Stick to the kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a drop, drop of a terrible thing. Great drop. Why wasn't this filmed? Uh, it was. It was? Yes. It was, it was, it was. Because, because. <laughs> really? Who I want you it? to do a, a like cut of all your falls. I hope somebody does. Montage. It'll be 30 minutes. So, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll get to the... Slow-mo. <laughs> I'll get to the moment that was my worst moment on the court because every once in a while, I would like, you know, you get you have the brain for it because you played your entire life, right? And if anything, my basketball IQ has gone up. <laughs> I watch a ton of basketball. I know how to play. I know where to position, everything, all that stuff. But my body is incapable of what my brain I, can I conjure. I get that. Like, and it fucks you up even more because you think you can do things. Yeah. But, like, you're not you can like get in the your, spots. You you're can't. You're not playing in your abilities. Not at all. And, right. and to make things worse, every once in a while, my body would snap into prime. Yeah. So I drilled like a 25 footer and I'm like, did I'm fucking that? back, baby. He did hit a three pointer. Yeah. And after then after. After like falling? hitting my no. chin <laughs> well, and, well, after for my fall, first for one. sure after falling, but I was gonna say you also airballed the three. Yeah, <laughs> I, your my first, first shot. My first three, I like hit my nose and yeah. threw it out of bounds. <laughs> And I'm like, what the you fuck is going on? your own nose with the ball. <laughs> yeah, 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 I literally did. Yeah. I almost drove my nose into my brain. I mean, the best part, can I say the best part is though, because I know that feeling is like, especially if you're like, on, if you're a basketball player, right? And you're taking a lot of shots or whatever, you're not going to hit every and single I was shot. unreal in warm-ups. But, but, <laughs> yeah, oh, I am the best in fucking warm-ups. 
warm ups. But also, I'll you throw better... you an alley oop next oh, year. Yeah. Hell yeah! Ooh. What he misses, what he misses, when he airballs that first shot, he like airballs it. And nobody really says anything, whatever. And we just start running back to the other side of the ball. And as we're running back to the other side, Mike's running back, being like. Just kind of like, <laughs> I'm like just practicing. practicing his I wrist stretched. Movements. I was like, yeah, everything's wrong. He did one wrong. of those where you shot alone, and then we're like, foul, foul. Yeah, yeah, I was like, guys, something happened. <laughs> yeah, a gust. Yeah, or something. yeah Father Time <laughs> guarded you too closely. Yeah. Marlon Wayans and Sixth Man blocked Who's my shot. Who was doing the announcing? Uh, James Maddern and Nico White. Yeah, two funny comedians. That's so they were, fun. They were, and then Gary Goldman was chirping in with his Same. own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How was Gary? Goldman, Goldman Gary was on our team. Was, Gary too. was fantastic. I yeah. envisioned yeah. him just athlete. having like a good hook shot. He like was just great. School. He was great from like mid range because he was athletic but also tall, so he would rise up above people and How have a nice JP? touch. JP, JP's great. JP was good too. Yeah. yeah. Um, Except when I was guarding him. But well, Feeney you know. played it, it played shockingly but, well because what's asked of him is very little. But he catches <laughs> yeah. the ball and he puts up shots. I gets rebounds. Scored nine points. Yeah, he did really. Well. Rebounds. So what? The, <laughs> Five talking about this is my hardest fall. I just want to get to this. So the guy Rafi, who is a uh, apparently wildly famous in Brazil, he's been on the uh, Joe Rogan experience. He's like you know got millions of followers on Instagram. He's like a big big and a deal, super nice, guy. and a really nice guy oh. with an accent that soaked my pants. Oh, yeah. So I, he's like also six six two eighty, a wow. big, big motherfucker. He's big. And in my head, every once in a while during the game, my body would react. As instinct. So I wouldn't put much thought behind it. I'd like, this is the proper basketball move. You do this. So at one point, he's driving the lane, and my body, before my brain could catch up, is like, take the charge. So I step up, plant, put my hands over my dick, and as his shoulder is about to connect with my chest, I'm like, you have a kid. And then <laughs> he hits my sternum through my spine. I fall <laughs> on the ground. My body, like, loses consciousness, and I slide across was, the entire it was, court. It was, like, it was like the exorcist, or some spirit was grabbing Mike underneath a bed where he was like, no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just he was getting absolutely pulled. took me away. Wait, so did you, did, what they call? They called the charge. <laughs> yeah. But everybody was like, what are you doing, dude? It's a New York comedy <laughs> festival <laughs> game, and that man is giant. And can I tell you, can I tell you, I came in right as that was happening because I had to go run upstairs because the jersey was chafing my nipples. So <laughs> I, I was also playing hard. I yeah, had blood. Yeah, had bloody <laughs> areolas. Like, is it scratchy? Is anyone else Yeah, scratchy? it was very <laughs> scratchy. It was not comfortable. Other people had bleeding nips. It wasn't the only one. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, but we won that game. We ended up winning. But it was at one point you're like, I have to go throw up. You were like, you know, yeah, I was I was like yeah. seeing spots because it's just so much running. Because again, you just wanna you wanna play good and, and again, everyone's I'm playing in hard. great shape visually. Yeah. Now I'm in the I'm in like the top, best shape I've been in since college. I'm being serious. But I have not run in no. years. Cardio and is... basketball is so fucking tiring because it's, it's like the start full sprint. and stop. It's just sprinting full and sprints. jumping over and over. So there was, there was no defense besides that one charge. Oh, there was a <laughs> lot of, there was a, there was a good I wouldn't play, of defense. I'm not playing defense next year. There was terrible offense. I mean, <laughs> yeah. the final score was... You didn't was, have to play defense. <laughs> no, the final score was 66-63 and there was a total of 450 shots taken, I think, throughout that thing. So it was, it well, was just... it's a bunch of comedians who love like the time and the attention so everyone just shot with oh, yeah. 30... Yeah. 30 to 40 air balls, I'd say, was that. Yeah. Um, Mike made it okay for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I, I broke the ice for everyone. Yeah. I, let them I know. feel like you're like the Kyrie Irving of the team. Like, you have an attitude problem. Yeah, and you he think thinks you're the earth is flat. <laughs> yeah, I really soured the team, except in clutch. I am very good. Trust. Okay. Yeah, I can. Okay, okay. Swarta Pita. So I just made a video recently. Oh, a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we show my video? I don't know. We made a video of this this tradition that happens in Amsterdam. Where is it? Is it on your Netherlands. Instagram? Netherlands. It's my. It's the second or third one. Um, because you told me to post that one thing, and then right. <laughs> and um, it's a tradition that happens December fifth in the Netherlands, which, by the way, I just came from there. Um. And it's like to our to our Santa Claus and his elves and our elves, they have Santa Claus and Swarta Pita. Swarta Pita. Okay, this is me. Hey, what's up, everybody? You see this picture I'm holding in my hand? This is a picture of white people wearing blackface in Amsterdam, Holland. Yes, all over Holland, they do this tradition during Christmas. It's called 
Santa Claus and Swartapita, Pita, meaning Black Peters. So they say that Santa Claus goes through the chimneys with his helpers, and the helpers turn black, but not Santa Claus. So they have a parade all around Holland every Christmas, regardless of the, the black people being offended. They still do this shit every year, and they call it, it's tradition. Are you fucking kidding me? So the people from Suriname, from Curaçao, and the Caribbean islands, all the black people are protesting this shit because they keep doing this shit every year. Yo, this is fucking a travesty. Look this shit up. Everybody look it up. Spread this fucking video around because we got to stop this shit. This is bullshit. Blackface. Come on, white folks. Enough <laughs> with this bullshit. You think it's a fucking game. Enough with this. Swat the beat the fuck. Hey. <laughs> so I did that real fast because people were DMing me from um, um Holland or Netherlands. They were saying, hey, Godfrey, can you make a video just talking about it? Because we just need some people to back us up because we're trying to protest it and we get crushed every time they tell they try to silence us and all this other shit. And, you know, the powers that be say it's tradition, it's not racism. This coming from the Dutch, and listen, obviously I'm not talking about every single Dutch person is like this because there's a lot of white Dutch people that are protesting it mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. that are very great people. And mm -hmm. the Netherlands is fantastic, by the way. Mm -hmm. Going to, I can, I look forward to going to the Netherlands. Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Delft, Eindhoven, my friend who I just came for, Roger, Comedy Vibes. I just did Comedy Vibes in Rotterdam, which you all should check out. If you ever he see a Rotter uh, Comedy Vibes show, you must go. And I love going to the Netherlands. I love going to Europe. Europe has its history. Everybody, has I love going there. You know, I want to love going there. But this, I'm sorry. If you're going through the chimney, you should look like Dick Van Dyke. Hey, can you do me this favor? Show Dick Van Dyke as a chimney sweeper, please. What is your cough doing? What is that? What? You, you, I don't know. Your cough. cough. You seem like you have a cough like I have no all cough. year. Okay. Catch him when he coughs. He's trying to hold it. And if I do cough, I hit. I do the cough button like a professional. You can't point out the cough when you I ever hit the try cough. to hold a cough. Oh, it sucks. Kick. If you if if you can find Dick Van Dyke as a chimney sweeper, so I can tell you what a proper Swat the and they call him black people. See, okay, now see that. Now, now look, now that's Dick Van Dyke doing the chimney dance and Mary Poppins. See, I know my shit. That's what happens when you go through a chimney or whatever, or fucking with a chimney. You have soot on your face. That is fine because we still know you're white. We get it. All right. Now show Swat the Peter. Get the fuck out of here. They have afros, guys. They have afros, my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry. How is that allowed? This, this is what's happening in the Netherlands. And they said there's some changes happening. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I don't believe it because here's another thing they it's do. so disgusting. So everybody's coming at me. Like a lot of the, a lot of them are white dudes coming at me. So you, and they're like teenagers. You don't know shit about this. Why don't you? They, they said, why don't you worry about the slaves, slavery in your country? And I go, oh, I'm sorry, guys, but the Dutch brought the slaves here. <laughs> you fucking yeah. idiot. They, 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 they sold slaves on Wall Street. We were the first commodity. You fucking idiot. New it's York was ignorance. New Amsterdam. You fucking idiot. Just ignorance. You know? Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a Dutch city. Brooklyn. Harlem. The Bronx is a Dutch name. Jonkers is Jonkers. Yonkers is Jonkers. So... You know what I'm saying? They say, why don't you worry about, worry about that? So they were giving me dumb, like, a, a answers because they were mad. What are you, I'm telling you, and I don't live there, regardless, there's still black people to me. W racism is in every fucking place we go. Every fucking where. So it's just telling me that y'all aren't trying to change. If I can go to different countries, which I've been, and talk to the black people there, and we talk about the same racial shit that's happening, what is that saying? You're not fucking changing people. Mm. Fuck you. Not at all. You're not and I'm and let me uh, let me repeat. Disgust. Not every Dutch person is like this, but a lot of you are. For you to even defend defend this bullshit. You are on some bullshit. You see and they say it's for the children. But the children like it. So black children have to watch this shit. They said it's for the children. This is what they're blaming it on the children who don't know racism.
Isn't Santa like enough for the children? Like, hey, thank you. Yeah, why well, you got to add? And it's a Turkish. Okay, Santa Claus is a Turkish uh, a character, a Turkish figure, a guy who was give, Saint Nick. He was giving away shit. Da da da. He was a nice man. Saint Nick. It's Turkish, and they made it. You know, turned him white, which they do a lot of characters, and you know, it's for the children. Children don't know about racism. They don't know about it. Okay. And adults, you put it upon them. And in Curacao, by it let you know, and in Suriname, they actually put on the blackface. The black people do it too. That's colonization. That's colonization, all right? That's what that is. Because, you know, we had to put on blackface in America. We had to put blackface on our faces. You had to. It was a law. As a comedian, you had to put blackface on. Black people were putting on blackface. Shout out to Burt Williams. Can you do me a favor? Show Burt Williams real quick. You know what's dope about this, though? It's like people are messaging you to like say something about it. You're like the voice of reason. I'm just trying to, you know. To, you know how much of a compliment that is? I, I think it's cool because I, my thing is, it's why You can have the center claw shit. Just have soot on your face. But you are so racist and fucked up that you think it's funny to clown black people because you have no respect for them. You have no, that's Burt Williams. That is what he looks like. He's a, he was a, a light-skinned Caribbean man, and he was a comedian. He was, a, he was a, a, a performer. Now watch him in his blackface, though. You see that? He had to wear blackface. He had to wear blackface. He's one of the first comedians to ever be filmed in the early 1900s. Burt Williams, look him up. That's a black fact, baby. That's a black fact. Huh? Black fact. There it is. Blackface always looks really creepy. Blackface is creepy because they demeaned and they were derogatory towards black people because they hated us so much and they still do. Not everybody, but most. And it's and it and it and it comes from it comes from nothing. It comes from made up shit. You bring slaves here, you bring people and make them slaves, and you hate them. And it becomes tradition for them. And tradition was there was a tradition to hang black people. It was a tradition. People would go on picnics to watch black people getting hung on trees. That's fine. They would go to picnics and celebrate black people getting burned at the stake like they would do with the uh, Salem Rich tri uh, witch, witch trials. trials. Burning women and shit. I'm getting nauseous. Oh, that's gross. It's nauseous as fuck, but it's like, and I told these Dutch people that were arguing with me, there were some that were very understanding. So you guys, please don't try to misconstrue what I said. There, were, I told some people, I said, he said, it's not racist. I said, well, then how come the Dutch people that live in New York or in America ain't doing that shit? Huh? How come? Because they fucking know. Because if you try that shit here, we'll beat your ass. <laughs> how about this? You ever heard of this term, I'll beat the black off you? We'll literally beat, beat the, the black off you. We will beat your motherfucking ass. You will get your ass pummeled thoroughly. You will get Timberland up, as Nas would say. Politics you understand? When you rattle by that Puerto Rican snake, ain't that your four killers, bleeds in a sketch. Some kind of tonic. Ew, that's gross. Uh, so, Jay, the video, please. I'm not stopping it. You're stopping it. Uh -oh. What is this? Don't, don't. Uh -oh. Can we just be surprised? Can yeah. We set, can we get set up at all or no? You don't need it. No setup. All right, go. Well, you We're, know what? I'll give you a little setup. We're clicking through. A little through. teaser. We're clicking through. You want a little teaser? Give me a little teaser. It's about a prostitute who solely has sex with super special needs people. Too much. Play. <laughs> empowerment kind of drives me I guess you could say all right and that is because I think everyone has a right to sexual expression and that includes Dude, she's a retarded 15 there is this social misconception that Whoa. people with disability are nice and quiet and quite pleasant oh wait so Lord. hold on are you telling me she won't fuck normals she only fucks tards is that what you're saying to me? Because that is the wokest shit ever. <laughs> yeah, ha hats off to her. I don't. That's incredible. I think, ah, helmets off. <laughs> <laughs> helmets <laughs> off, guys. Helmets <laughs> off. Hey, you asshole! <laughs> that might be the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> helmets <laughs> off. <laughs> um, well, let's listen. I don't know. Maybe it might not be all solely. Oh, fuck. Handicap people, but I mean that. I mean, do not put your dick in that mouth, dude. I mean, that thing is coming off like a nutcracker. That thing comes down with force. 
I have a question. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. This is not a sex workers parade. <laughs> this is a parade you, of. Before you ask your question, I, I mean, the sun says I'm, weak I'm, I'm, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking the question. Sorry. This is just a parade of. Disabled people are saying we want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a very yep. specific parade. And this, yeah. this is this chick. This is like she's like a mall Santa Claus. This is her <laughs> fucking Christmas. <laughs> she goes down and cleans up for a month during this parade, basically. Oh, absolutely. She goes. Oh yeah, dude. Holy shit! It's this a lot of just fucking colliding chairs. This is a parade of retarded people that are retarded to be liberated about their sexuality. I guess. Yes. Sure. This first of all. If we don't broadcast from this parade next year, we have missed an opportunity. We're not the lead. Broadcast? I want to be the fucking leader. What do they call that? Uh, the fucking... Uh, uh, the major? The, uh, uh, the, 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 give them a... Uh, I can't speak. There's right a name now. for it. I don't know it either. What Marshall. A, the, build a uh, float for and throw beads. Yeah. You know? But, but, you know, but soft beads. Soft beads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So oh. go ahead. Sexuality and sexual expression is a, the last bastion in lots of ways. People with disability want connection and intimacy and touch. This guy's ready to fuck. Lewis, Lewis. I've been a sex worker you. now for over 14 years. Funny enough, I'm one of those sex workers that was always drawn to it. I really like seeing clients with disability. They can be quite diverse. Dude, I bet retarded people come fast or never. <laughs> like you are either in and out or you are gonna get fucking like burned oh, yeah. on your snatch lips yeah. in their mobility diverse in the services they want she's pretty Very hot diverse. yeah she's, she's pretty hot, hot. She, uh oh she's not but the other chick she's not a worker that's chick. the mom of the girl of the kid he's gonna fuck no she's pretty fuck well no She's actually legitimately pretty. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe in this context. No, she's no, fucking cute, She's a pretty dude. girl. Get the fuck up, dude. She is a pretty girl. I sure. Would, I'd date her right now. I know. Uh, she's only in a tards. Sorry. You mean I she's only see in the tards. You're yeah. in. <laughs> I want to yeah. see. Hey, can I beat off in a corner while you bang goofballs? <laughs> I want to see the part where her boss... I want to see the part where her boss at the mental hospital comes through that door. Chelsea, get back to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with the video camera? The halls are getting nutty. Oh, sorry, sorry, boss. <laughs> they know you're here. They smell you. Get to work. <laughs> and stop sucking their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> or start charging at least. Go ahead. Very diverse. It's hard because with your other kids, you don't Mark's have anything mom. to do with their sex lives. God, or fucking whatever. England is stupid. Oh, my Christ. That's his dick. He's got a robot dick. <laughs> oh, my Christ. Come on. That guy is horned up. But the conversation wasn't as bad as I... I can't wait to hear him talk to her. Where it's like, please, take your panties down. Thought it would be... When we went to the first oh, brothel, that's uh, a nice it clip. was supposed to be wheelchair accessible, but really it wasn't. And, what is, does his mom uh, have to like fucking to work his body while he gets fucked? Yeah, Did also, you, mom, me, mom's, me, mom's going to push my butt for me. Did you hear? Did you hear what the mom just said? No, she I don't know. They went to other, yeah. She complained that the We Want to Fuck parade wasn't wheelchair as, as a wheelchair no, accessible. Said, it's like, that's your problem. Your new problem is that your uh, son wants to go come all over a bunch of <laughs> chicks' faces in Florida. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah. Carry uh, Mark up. Anyway, sorry. She's like, so I was 75 and I had a baby. Yeah. And this Thanks. is what happened. I'll smoke the entire time I did, I do. <laughs> They said don't drink, so I drink more. <laughs> they said one glass of red wine wouldn't hurt much, it doesn't, it did. But I'll tell you what, I think it did, it did. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes right down to it, I may have fucked him up, I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, it if my penance is that I have to go push his butt. <laughs> While this damaged young lady <laughs> opens up a vagina form, so be it to do I did. <laughs> <laughs> These stairs and made it very difficult. But, uh, and then I just broke down and cried the whole time I was there. Well, that was good. 
Oh my As lord. years have passed, oh I my used lord. to enjoy Oh, please don't make me watch him eat. Please don't make me watch him eat. <laughs> I'll fuck him. I'll fuck him, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather watch him fuck than eat. I'm not alone in that, so fuck everyone yeah. in this room. Oh my god, his mom's feeding him cabbage with chopsticks. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he's eating noodles. Well. Oh, she has to put it in. Oh god. She's gonna lose a finger. That's dangerous shit. As the years have passed, I used she to enjoy just like waiting Brazilian around for fucking Mark gator and wrestlers. The um, they're just, it's just been part of life. People do not understand the difference that sex makes. Part yeah, we do. Oh, we get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're well aware. Bummer. There's an outside shot. His face could have been frozen in a pleasant face. It looks like he doesn't like you. <laughs> and it's weird to feel immediate sympathy for a person when you make your way up with that problem. You're like, I definitely am feel sympathy for this guy. And he has like an always like, fuck you looking at. No, his face is like, he's like, oh, you got a problem, buddy? Oh, oh. Mr. Big Shot wants to fight the guy in the chair, huh? <laughs> what about this? And then he gets him and like eight <laughs> drones come in because really? that helmet controls drones. <laughs> And then uh, I didn't take the face that way. I thought it was more of a, huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Uh, 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 I never really thought about it that way. Hey, uh. dude, we found a hooker who will fuck you no matter what. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Dude. Oh, Miss Big Time Hooker going to fuck a retard. Okay. <laughs> oh, Miss Doo 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 thinks she's going to sit on my frozen awakenings face. Well, I got news for you, Chupcake. My tongue don't work. You sit on my face, it's going down my throat. You're getting homicide. That's 25 to L, toots. Some hookers take it in the ass. Some fuck the lawnmower, man. <laughs> Look at that face. So make your fucking move. <laughs> you want to fuck a retard? <laughs> you, I, you, you, think you, you want to fuck a retard? <laughs> iPad, give this slob my address. <laughs> 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 That's his personality. <laughs> yeah. Give this big piece of shit my address. Wait, wait. I just Googled you. It turns out your father never loved you. I'll see you in a half hour, you slut. <laughs> wait, this, this, this and next I, and line. Siri's is... like, maybe you were a little too harsh on her. Like, she'll fucking show up in an hour. I need sex all the time to oh make my, my muscles relax. What is that? Interesting. And I like sex. <laughs> Do you? He's got, fuck, he's got fucking G.I. Joe figure hands. Holy shit. Is that what happened to Ben Bailey after Cash Cab? <laughs> <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> parked it, bro. You parked it. That looks like Ben shit. Bailey crashed Cash Cab. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You guys didn't hear about Ben Bailey? Cash Cab went down a fucking ravine, dude. Dude, it flipped three times. He goes, a, a couple of black guys pulled him out before the thing exploded. They but said it was a miracle that he's he He's alive, lived. but he is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, would do you, you like to phone <gasps> a friend? <laughs> <laughs> this is the video bonus <laughs> round. <laughs> Do you want to risk it all <laughs> or take $700? I'll be here staring at you uncomfortably. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, man. Ben Fuck you, Ben you. Bailey. I, yeah. Ben, you can't drive the cab with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I can, Joe. <laughs> Me and the car are one now. <laughs> ben Bailey's Night Riders, the cash cab. <laughs> <laughs> Joe definitely got stoned. <laughs> he that works with the cab. <laughs> <laughs> the uh. cab is me, and I am the cab. <laughs> In that one moment. <laughs> oh, shit. Keep playing this. Sorry, all right. Is it all right? Okay, yeah, we can do I, it. No, I'm He's not smiling. fucking all right. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, he smiled. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, that tongue is fucking girthy. Girth? I know, right? That is, I just got my dick sucked for weed face. I'll tell you what. You can make a smaller woman come with just that tongue, man. That thing is a fuck. That thing is long. As yeah, dude. That, that great dimple. Look at his dimp. Oh, the chin. The yeah, but it's not like exactly in the middle. Yeah. Well, you little, know, it's a little off. Well, that's also what I call him. He's a dimp. 
<laughs> it, he looks like if you just said this was like a fucking uh, like a movie producer watching an uncomfortable intern get naked, you'd believe it. Like he's full, yeah, full mental capacity. He's like, yeah, uh, do what daddy likes. <laughs> 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 Hasn't, hasn't God, God fucked with this guy enough, Jay? <laughs> you have to continue to just fucking. <laughs> Back shots, pow. Why do pow. I feel like pow. if we keep doing this, we can fix him. Yeah. I'd like to be a fly on We the don't wall. have stem cells, dude. <laughs> have to touch it extra. <laughs> Uh-oh. What, was that his dick? Yeah, it smells nice. Aww. It's not where cologne goes, you stupid bitch. You should put it in his mouth. She's like, huh? she's like this should mask the smell of you shitting your pants for a while. Do you want to check it? Sometimes you think, oh, it's a little... Is your hook up on it? There you go. Go fuck me, son, you yeah. does. It's 80 pounds it is. Just take your and just normal people. So nice 53,000 pence. Oh, chick, you're going to fuck a handicapped guy? Take a cab. Dude, that, by the way, that is the most beautiful British woman alive. <laughs> I think these are Australian people. Hello. She definitely has the best teeth I've ever seen. Her. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. you, know what? you don't kiss her on the mouth, you asshole. You don't I've kiss. just kissed every dick you suck. Why I don't do you just spit AIDS into my face? My I cannot share my feelings. Wait, 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 back that person. up. Is he saying he's not going to lock this one down? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. girlfriend, so I do not I have a girlfriend, so I cannot share my feelings with just one person. This is so I can't. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, no, it's more sad <laughs> shit. Thank you. I was like, I can't jump oh, okay. on the rolling okay. stone. I thought he was saying like, okay. oh, she does the girlfriend experience. That's an extra hundred dollars. Do you think that after every time, <clears throat> after he comes, there's a second where he's like, thanks, Rachel. That was amazing. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> it just fixes everything then, for a split for second. Like eight seconds. He's like, that yeah. was amazing. You make this all worthwhile. <laughs> and like right back to. Rachel, here's the combination for my safe <laughs> deposit box. 45 digits. <laughs> it'd be great. It'd be great. Oh, Rachel, there's one doctor in Sweden that can help my problem. His name is Dr. Johan. <laughs> it'd be great if he only if he only straightened out when he was coming. And he just came, and he was like, "Oh, you fucking bitch, you fucking slut, I love you, you fucking whore." Uh, just mean shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was that? Oh, buddy? you love it, you pig. Oh, you're such a slut. Why didn't your dad love you? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lady. What did you just say to me? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lady. No, no, no. Before that. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. Thank you, Miss Lady. <laughs> Young Tanner, who Young set up our TikTok account. Fucking bleach blonde little, Tanner. Little kinky 69. He's like Jared Leto in Fight Club. If this was Project Mayhem, right? He's on He'd be fucking Jared God Leto. God damn it, I'm Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Either of us could be Meatloaf. It's fine. I took the bullet for you on that one. <laughs> I really did. In Death, in Project Mayhem, he does have a name, and his name is Zach Amico. <laughs> yes, What's going Tanner. on, Tanner? Oh, hi. I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I mostly brought you. Yes, yeah, apologize. Oh, you should come in. We're making we're making <laughs> old man we references see. in here. Uh, and uh, I came in today, and somebody told me you had a new favorite TV show. Yes. What is it? Um, you just found you just found out about this show. You I wouldn't say found out. I just I, first time seeing any episodes ever uh -huh. is right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. What's the show? Uh, Seinfeld. What? Yes. How Did old you are you, Tanner? I'm big... 20. Did Jesus you just get Christ. Hulu as part of Disney Plus? No, no, no. I uh, downloaded them. God damn it. Don't tell. Scam that Jew. Scam the Jew. 
Okay. So you just started age. watching I'm Seinfeld. Just past the watch episode in what season? season four. Okay, oh, you're you in guys, prime you're fucking classic. Seinfeld. Yeah. How many episodes? Okay, did I don't want to make fun of him. I just want to honestly. Get, it's awesome, right? It's fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, so funny. Like <laughs> I, I really thought it would be like weird and like outdated, but it's. It's just funny. Well, it is. It is. It is outdated, but it's, the fucking jokes are so solid. They're using yeah, yeah. landlines. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah ridiculous. I, the landlines are crazy. Have, has there been anything <laughs> that, as a twenty-year-old, you're like, I? Because basically, that show doesn't exist in this time. You, mm-hmm. Chinese restaurant doesn't exist. Every problem they have with communication, right? They would call somebody, call them, text them. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Most I don't, of the plots on that show do not work. I, at all, it's all just like, oh, but when is this, where is this person? When are they coming over? Oh, surprise visit. That doesn't happen. Yeah, what ever. the fuck's movie phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you know? Oh, that's later. That's a spoiler. Movie. For you. Did you just spoil Seinfeld yeah, for me? I fucked up Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, that ruins everything. Ruined the whole end of Seinfeld. <laughs> no, right now they're just going in deep in the it's meta. No show about the show. No. Oh, it's he's out in L.A. and they're pitching the yeah, show at yeah. NBC. That's a great fucking plot line, man. Wait, yeah. have they gotten to the I'm point? very envious Kra- of you. And Kramer's like a. Uh, Is he out in L.A. already? Yeah, Kramer's out in L.A. Killer? and he. Whoa, he's nope. not a serial killer, but people think he is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking great. Yeah, I'm loving spoiler it. Spoiler alert: turns God. out he's the Zodiac killer the whole time. I yeah. believe it. Wait, wait. I don't know. I everyone keeps like making jokes about like Kramer being like in real life saying stuff. Did, what did he say? Don't no, don't 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 look. No, 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 he also a was a janitor who hosted a children's TV show. Oh, that's he also true. was a record executive who an accountant <laughs> who saved the lives of countless people when a band uh, took uh, he was a bow tie. Uh, he was a bow tie wearing serial killer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he's had a rich life outside of that. So don't be don't cold. Don't put him in a box. Michael Richards' life to Kramer the person. Okay, I'm sorry. I just I. Uh... I just hear people like, oh, Kramer this, Kramer that. He Now, do you have that video? He also video? had a detective show. You might want to look that up. It's like three episodes, I think. <laughs> what was that show? He was a lawyer? Yeah. What? For a while? He said on stage? Pause it. <laughs> Doesn't age well. <laughs> no, not at all. Right no, at the moment, no real yeah. reason to play it on the show, to be totally honest. Yes. Now, when he does N words revisited on his second album, yeah, well, it really does. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't not do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't ever apologize. Tanner has no idea what's going. No, on. I literally have zero. Oh, holy okay. shit! You're um, a young buck, Tanner. So you're watching Seinfeld. Yeah, you're loving it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that going to change your opinion of Seinfeld? Nah. Okay, will this change your opinion of Seinfeld? Uh Uh-oh. What? Now, the the Jerry Seinfeld that you've known and loved. Jerry Seinfeld's girlfriend, Shoshana. Yeah, let's say the the Jerry Seinfeld you know and love. While this is happening, pretty much. When she was young. While this is happening, pretty much. Now, you've seen the show. Jerry. Ladies, man. uh, uh, A heaping helpful of beautiful ladies at his disposal. One after another. Yeah, yeah. How would you feel as Jerry... Hot, successful, biggest show in the world. <laughs> Just headed over to a park near NYU and picked himself out a child, a seventeen-year-old <laughs> girl. Say Whoa! Like that. Yeah, yeah. She was I think se- we just tur- we made Whoa. Tanner be like, "Oh, good for him." So Tanner, while Seinfeld was at its she's seventeen. Well, in, that, in this wow. picture, she's at its height. Shit, huh? At its height of its popularity, <laughs> uh, uh, she was I, the Cash Me Outside girl of the nineties. One hundred percent, dude. Look how hot she, she is, like... dude. That's that Cash Me Outside. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, that's Seinfeld Cash Me Outside. <laughs> she was seventeen it's, it's years funny old. How they went Jew instead of black back then. Yeah, <laughs> that she went 
dove nose first into it. And he was pictured <laughs> with her everywhere. And no one had a real problem with it. Nobody, nobody <laughs> said <laughs> boo. No one had no any, one no, cared. No. He really? was at like he was at Knicks games, I think, with her. Like yeah. he was fucking pictured with her outside 17. all the time. Yeah, seventeen years old. And everyone just went, Ah <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna he break up with her because she doesn't floss or something. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you see the he he throws out his shoelaces if they touch the floor of the men's room? <laughs> Go ahead, fuck a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty shocking. Everyone forgets about it. No one brings that shit forgets up. About, that's why I applaud whenever the show comes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Hero! Shoshana! Fucking shit. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great bit of trivia for you. So when you're with your friends and uh-huh. you're talking about Seinfeld, right. throw that out there. Say it's yours, too. Don't even say what you brought it up to you. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you. Um, so I, I appreciate Tanner, have you been updating our TikTok? You're wearing a TikTok hoodie. Big yeah. fan. Uh, are you? Are, have you been updating our TikTok? No. You, shoot, shoot a TikTok video for us right now. It just yeah. doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, just, just can you just Alex? Can you send uh, little kinky sixty nine on all social medias our uh, our random highlights, one minute highlights for him to TikTokify? We really need to break into this Chinese market. Yes. I don't know if you know, but we are huge in Angola. Hell yeah, huge. We're gigantic in Angola. Okay, yeah. bro. Yeah. Shoshana had some nice big angles. <laughs> she <laughs> certainly did. <laughs> nice fat angle. God. Big yeah. Jewy angles. <laughs> That's nice what it hefty is. Hefty angle. It's just shockingly large. Yeah. It's just it's ridiculous. Yeah, I was I was really surprised it wasn't brought up earlier, but they're pretty big. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, we were all referencing the it. medical okay, term okay. Tanner is jubes. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> right He's right. He's 100 percent right. We now, you have to them that you don't now see. a lot of youngsters these days they don't they don't uh, they don't like Seinfeld they call it a homophobic uh, xenophobic uh, how is it homophobic I, uh, I feel like they it's say very, they say oh. there's nothing wrong with being gay no yeah. but they say because that they're implying that there is that other people might think there's something wrong with it that in, in itself is homophobic it, I mean Fine. but there there is a fact that exists that people think it's wrong to be gay not well, Tanner clearly. I'm not yeah. the one saying it it's other people it's youngsters can mm-hmm. I actually go back a second mm-hmm. now this is gonna sound a little out there. Mm-hmm. I need you to forgive me. This is an honest question. I'm going to wait for you to say it first before I forgive you. Now, you know how every I at once in a while a sports commentator will get in trouble for maybe saying that a certain race of athlete maybe was bred bigger, stronger, sure. faster. Yes. Yeah. Trevor Murdoch. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you think in the Holocaust, when a girl had really big tits, they oh, were man. like, let her go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, that happened. Yeah, absolutely. And they were like, keep it, keep it moving. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and what? now, uh, what we got left, yeah. something special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Okay. Because look. That's a good a, bit of logic, yeah. Zach. You're I'm forgiving. just asking. I'm no, trying no. to apply history to history. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. These are the questions people aren't going to answer, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Yeah, it's important though. Yeah. <laughs> My Fuhrer, how could this be an inferior race? Yeah. They somehow weigh more per cubic <laughs> millimeter. <laughs> Alright, I'm digging a hole. <laughs> Look did. at the tits on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you feel about friends? I how do you feel he doesn't have friends? any. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, damn, <laughs> Zach. I've don't I haven't seen enough. It doesn't before. hold up as well. It's not good. I, I haven't. I've I never watched, watched it. it. It's not a good. Show. I I I guarantee you, Stanley. I don't even remember. I think Stanley lived that. I don't life. even remember this, but I can envision you shitting on friends very vocally to me when we were seventeen years old. No, I I never was a friend. I I can't tell you. Like I know vague uh, plot points in the show, but I never. Wa- I don't remember ever really watching. I watched Seinfeld. Yeah. But fucking... That's how you know Stanley didn't get pussy till college. But friends. Is fucking, I would say, is much more popular than Seinfeld now. I think mm-hmm. it's without a doubt, at least with the younger generation. Absolutely, which means with the younger 10 generation. 10 years from now, it'll be, Seinfeld will be even less popular. It's you think, because oh, Friends yeah. is passive watching. I've noticed this with the way. Hmm. It all resets in the beginning, in, 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 at the end. Yeah, Seinfeld, you literally can have a joke that's a reference to an episode fucking five, six yeah. episodes ago, another yeah. season ago. Friends, it is a fucking timeline that you could watch passively while you play games on your phone. And that's, dude. If I come home and I hear the office theme playing yeah. off from my TV, like, oh, great, depression. Yeah. <laughs> and office is the same way. And office that's ridiculously stinks. popular. 
It's ridiculous. The Office is so boring. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. Um, you know, like, like the first couple of seasons of The Office, and then it gets it goes yeah, downhill it's real fast. Shit. It's the most watched. I think it's the most streamed show on Netflix by like far. You watch the, the Office, Office far. Really? Yes. And then it's Friends. How many times did you watch The Office before you decided to give Seinfeld to try? Like t- two and a quarter times. That's not that bad. And that's like how many episodes? How many episodes of The Office are there? Does anyone know? One hundred and fifty-three. I wish I was right on. Oh, I don't know. Was fucking really <laughs> impressive. Oh, yeah. I think it's like two hundred episodes. It was like twenty-three. No. So if this was going to yeah, be on like TikTok, episodes. what would it be like right now? What this yeah, what moment? Yeah, this moment. <laughs> yeah, like all you guys doing that. You're kind of like a Minekinoku cat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just this for the whole bringing much luck to our business. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> There are 201 episodes in the office. 201 episodes. Jesus, that's a lot. That's That's a lot of episodes. 23 episode seasons. Should have ended with, in at a point? Yeah. Fuck yeah. It should have just ended with bad. some workplace violence. Somebody just shooting it up. Maybe Creed. <laughs> What's the whole show about Jim up. and Pam being mean to the autistic guy in the office? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they become friends in later seasons. They're like buddies up and shit. And so oh, would you become God. friends with a guy who's tormented you for six years in the same office? No. <laughs> no, I'd watch news that. radio, which is a much <laughs> fun, <laughs> fucking <laughs> fantastic yeah. show. Of the same exact thing. Of the yeah. exact same thing. News radio is great. Have you watched news radio yet? Not a second. I don't even know who the cast is. I know uh, Joe Rogan's in it. That's all. Joe Rogan, Dave right. Andy Foley, D- Dave Foley, Phil Hartman, Phil Hartman, 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 Hartman later Hartman. John Lovitz, yeah. Candy Alexander's got big fat titties. Who's Phil Hartman? Kira Turney. Who's the what? chicken that's something? All right, get out. Yeah. You said who's yeah. Phil Hartman? Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. <sighs> you can leave, Tanner. It's okay. You're young. Yeah. Hey, did you uh? Ask me if I saw it. Did you like? Did you see that Star Wars, the Mandalorian? I haven't seen it yet. Because the Ryan, mandolin, the man, yeah, Star Wars, the bluegrass Star Wars. Star Wars, <laughs> the man. It's the <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Bubba the mandolin <laughs> with Bubba Fett? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, mandolin, <laughs> the mandolin. <laughs> well, it's pretty good. Is it? Compared to all the other things. I mean, it opens up with like a silly... The bar is pretty low for that Star Wars That dude Tate is in it in the beginning. Jeff Tate? Tate, the caveman coffee guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's yeah. Jeff Tate? No, not <laughs> Jeff Tate. Yeah, he plays a good guitar comic bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is Jeff a... He's not a guitar Probably. comic. He looks like... He, he, he looks, looks like... I don't like think he is. I'm just saying that. Sorry. Yeah. I apologize. That's what he shows about. Yeah, Jeff. Bill Burr's in it. I know. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, yeah, I saw him in the trailer shooting a gun. Yeah. Laser gun. Yeah, Brian Posehn, I think, is in it, too. Yeah, Brian, spoiler alert. Chewbacca? <laughs> he plays a shave. They shave Chewbacca, and Brian Posehn is inside. <laughs> no, you know why it's good? Because it's about the thing that Star Wars is about, which is like kind of like cool Western violence. Western, yeah, it's mixed with like Kurosawa. weird like cruelty of, to puppets. <laughs> That's like the that's what the f- weird fascination of Star Wars is to a kid. You're like, there's always like a puppet being like tortured or yeah, eaten. yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, and it just titillates you. Yeah, because it's not sexual. Open. You're yeah. a kid, but there's the thing with like killing bugs. The kids at and it appeals to that to see like these weird puppets and they're like yeah. one eats one out of a tank and they're like Ey! yeah, and yeah. Kids love that. Like George Lucas really gets. I it. mean that that scene where he lasers open the llama or whatever and crawls inside it for warmth. That's such like a boy. That shit fucked with. It's me. such yeah, a boy's. I, I mean, girls would go. To, I mean, I, I don't. I, like I said, I got it from my niece. There's a bunch of that shit, mm-hmm. and um, my niece when just she just makes them make out. <laughs> She's a girl. <laughs> she like she likes girl stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like make it out, girl stuff. She's just fascinated with shit that's not. She's fascinated with like a like adult. Right. Like how girls are because they're more mature than boys. Right, right. Like boys personality are like, Ew. dynamics. Ew, you cut his stomach with a laser. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's a thing of being less mature. That's what Star Wars is about. So. Mm-hmm. The whole thing we're gonna make it female. You to push to make women immature, dude. That's what the push is. Yeah. Because I guess the men don't have enough disposable income <laughs> to, to buy a fucking lightsaber when they're they're right. all out of work, so they can't buy lightsabers <laughs> yeah. and shit. Yeah. So so now so what? Because remember that the chick that ruined these movies, uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah. And uh, she has t-shirts. The force is female. I remember that was like a thing. People were like, oh, shut up! Like the force is female. Yeah, that I was their slogan because she's trying to convert. It's a thing your dad. Here's Star Wars. Always a thing your dad takes you to. If you don't have a dad, your mom, mm-hmm. your mom's boyfriend, hopefully, right? Or your mom sadly has to work two jobs and take your family to Star Wars. Yep. Hats off of that. But that's what it's for. That's like a thing that you. Mm-hmm. It's like a movie. Just like I watch movies. My dad is like, oh, all like cool movies as a kid. I, it's because my dad. The it, Godfather. It was not because my mom. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Now, this is, I guess maybe there were still dads around when I was young, but. 
or like not dads that spoke English and weren't hiding out. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, selling kidneys that lady, out of I was totally wrong that lady I could tell she's yeah. become a handsome woman but I can see she was probably uh, a looker yeah 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 and if she had her hair long to st- probably still still a looker yeah she was holding she's up. not not a looker now but uh, uh but that Demi Moore haircut's age, not nice yeah you gotta I'm not saying you can't uh, there's people like short hair is terrible on a woman that's not true it's, it, but you gotta have a specific right thing she is of the age to do it but it looks like she doesn't need to Right. She's just yeah. doing it like, no, I'm a short hair woman. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. She's rejecting her beauty, which is pretty entitled. Uh, or <laughs> or she has pain to reject it. There's something yeah. could have happened. I, pe- listen, people want to cut their own fucking faces up if an, yeah. if something bad happened to them because of being attractive. Yep. Um. Anyway, the force is female. Kathleen Kennedy is right about that. This is the whole point of Star Wars. Your dad takes you to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the, you have to, it's about mastering the force. The force is female. Okay. That's why you need to use your fucking laser dick. Right. Okay, you have to manipulate the force to help your laser dick, mm-hmm. and then bring balance to it, because it's fucking imbalanced, because it's on its fucking period all the time, <laughs> and it wants a baby, <laughs> so you gotta use your laser sword, <laughs> your laser penis. Get it? <laughs> Why do I picture you at the back of a Lincoln with some I dad I yelling could, this at dude, you? <laughs> so if I could kid. animate, I, okay, and uh, maybe somebody out there. I don't, I don't know if I have many listeners raised was dead, but if I could somehow have R2-D2 during a hologram of me explaining, <laughs> to like, like, the force is female. You use your laser penis <laughs> to bring balance. <laughs> it's our period. <laughs> could somebody please make a hologram of me coming out of R2? <laughs> <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Let me tell you something about the force. It's female. <laughs> it's they pull R2 out of the swamp. They pull you out. Yeah, R two goes R2 in the swamp. R2, they pull I you mean, out. Uh, Yoda is basically like a pickup artist. Yeah, it's like for do sure. not try, do. <laughs> yeah. I can't pick up that X wing. Yoda's like, yeah. I'll go pick up that X wing right now. He's like, hey, buy me a drink. And X wing's like, woo. Yeah, yeah, some out of order <laughs> negging. Yeah, Yoda, Yoda with no little to no peacocking <laughs> was able to use the force. Fucking Obi Wan was smooth as shit. They all were. Yeah, he could have fucked a stormtrooper if he wanted. <laughs> He could have fucked any storm. I don't, I'm not saying he did, you but you see how they were putty in his hands, stormtroopers. Yeah, they really were. Yeah, their girl. These aren't the droids you want. The droids right here in these fucking robes. That's the droid you want. <laughs> That's the droid you want. Take that fucking helmet off. You're going to wish you had a helmet for your ass after. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. I want to. Maybe I'll try to make one if nobody can, but I really want to make a R2 of me explaining the force to my unborn son. <laughs> you absolutely should. Didn't Race Wars have like a Star Wars? People used to fucking make awesome animations all the time. They were like yeah. quick and slap the other, but because we used to have Godfrey doing Cosby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they would animate us having Doctor. We always referred to him as Doctor Cosby out of respect. <laughs> now Doctor Cosby go fuck the boat. <laughs> 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 ah, that was goddamn. F- I think is Godfrey out here? He was. I saw. I was on the show with him at the Laugh Factory. Like. Three weeks ago. Oh, shit. I got to text Godfrey, man. I fucking keep meaning to him. I think I he blew the speakers out with his voice. It was so loud. It started getting like... a powerful <laughs> man. He's yeah. a, a young lion king. Yeah. Straight out of Nigeria. <laughs> he was right about the dress thing. I have to bring him on and apologize. Yeah, yeah. What about Daishiki? I thought he was being a hotep. A... What? What about a Daishiki? I thought he was in a... I was like, why don't you get a Daishiki, brother? Yeah, yeah. If you're worried about... But he was goddamn right. Mm-hmm. Yep. It turns out... the. Only the craziest black people were right this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews did 9 <laughs> 11. <laughs> it's true. I mean, history is like Martin Luther King sucked, Malcolm X was right. That's kind of what people are saying now. Is it? Yep. I wondered how long it would take me to figure that out because Martin Luther King's message goes totally against what they say now. Mm hmm. Oh, totally against. I was just like, the have content you, of your so character, you're telling me that's that people, offensive to them. Yeah, that, but who. Not in real life. No. Nothing. All the fucking boomers and shit are still alive. So, yeah. th- like, and I'm, what are you, like, Gen X? That, that's fucking. Uh, 34, so. Is that, what is that, millennial? I don't know. I, yeah, I think it's like the very first millennial. I think you got to be over in an income bracket, too, to be in the, one of the official generations. Like Income bracket? Whatever. Like, I don't know if you know this. Mexicans have had a generation called Mexican kids. <laughs> it's never. They didn't have generation I, next. <laughs> They've just had one steady generation called Mexican kids. Yeah, I think that's my income bracket, too. Are you a Zoomer or a Boomer? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, go uh, to work all the time. Uh, you need help painting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak in. <laughs> Four doctorates. I don't speak. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. yeah, so 
John Favreau gets what what it's about. Basically, what this whole divergent thing was. John Favreau gets it. Yeah. And and I was like, okay, how's this gonna work without a laser penis? It was just a Boba Fett because, you know, Boba Fett in the movies was ineffective because he was, right. He just had basically that a space, pistol. Basically a space vagina. Yeah. Fell in a hole because he is a hole. He didn't have a laser dick. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Boba Fett's trans. Yeah. Yeah. Boba. That's the most gender neutral name. Yeah. First of all, that my transition. I'm that changing my Django name to Boba. Fett, Django and Chango Fett. Yeah, he was raising his son. <laughs> Django Unchained Fett was raising his boy <laughs> Boba to be non-gender binary. And look what happened: ineffective. And lawyer. he well, couldn't. He didn't have enough confidence. Mm-hmm. He was getting bumped by this guy, the Mandolin. Let me tell you something: totally different Boba Fett than Boba Fett is. Really? Yeah, it's not Boba Fett. It's a totally different guy who different. doesn't suck. Huh? The Mandolin. The Mandolin, dude. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I will. Dis- Disney Plus is the mandolin. We got a crazy bitch watch for you motherfuckers. Hey, y'all crazy bitch. There was a report this week about Stephen Miller, who is the president's point person on immigration. In fact, to the extent that he is, he's kind of run roughshod over DHS as an independent agency or an agency that, that functions. Um, he, there are about 700 emails of his leaked in which he's cultivating a Breitbart reporter and pushing white nationalist themes that immigrants are uh, criminal and he's recommending racist books. You've called for him to resign. You've started a petition. Why? If we have a white nationalist at the helm of U.S. For, of U.S. immigration policy, it means that U.S. immigration policy will become increasingly more fascistic. And we cannot allow that to be us. And so long as Stephen Miller is in charge of U.S. immigration policy, hundreds of thousands of people's lives are going to be in danger. Over 70 or around 70,000 migrant children have been detained and including child separation, including horrific conditions, including um, including young children who have died in U.S. custody. This is not normal. And when we have I mean, it's 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 nuts because. Earlier this year, when I echoed the the consensus of experts, of historians, of experts, of political scientists, in saying that the conditions on our border, the mass expansion of detention camps, qualifies as a concentration camp, everybody thought it was nuts, right? Until we realized this week that Stephen Miller is a no-joke, die-hard white nationalist. This is what our, our policy has become. And in order for us to rectify and to begin to heal as a country, he has got to go. I think, um, I, I feel duty bound to note that, that Miller's defenders, I think Miller himself would say, I'm Jewish myself, I come from a Jewish family, and it's mm-hmm. offensive um, mm-hmm. for you to invoke that word, particularly as, as regards uh, uh, someone who is Jewish. Well, I'm sure that's also the way in which he's weaponized his identity, right? Like, you know, they say, and and there's this, there's, you're, you're the color of your skin. <laughs> All right, the, let's pause you- there. Uh, well, listen, I guess if you believe that a fucking, you know, a dude can be the best female power lifter in the country, believing a Jew could be a Nazi really isn't that big of a fucking stretch. And look, technically, if I'm going to defend, I I just love the moment that uh, Chris Hayes has put in where they go, he is a hardcore white nationalist fascist. And even he has to go like, um, you know, he would probably point out that he's Jewish and comes from a Jewish family. And like, that's, that's probably what his argument would be here. And look, if you want to be technical, sure. Okay, I guess a Jew could be a fascist. I think I've heard some people say there were like a few Jews who Hitler let in his like military or something like that. Okay, fine. But look, when she goes, if you have a white nationalist who's in head of immigration policy, it's going to look more and more fascistic. It's like, what? How, like, casually do we just throw out these terms? And what do they even mean? Like, what does white nationalist mean? So if you're saying that you're a white nationalist for wanting to crack down on illegal immigration, or let's just take it a step further. Let's say, let's pretend that Stephen Miller has ever actually said, I just want white immigrants coming into this country, right? That, that's, that's being white nationalist. 
The problem with that is that then you have to realize that we were a white nationalist country for basically our entire history. And the entire history of America was being about 90% white. That was our history basically until the 70s. Um, so basically all of American history, all of European history, it was basically just taken as a given that these were majority white countries. Feel about that however you want to. That's just a historical fact. That's just the reality of the situation. Now, there's lots of countries out there who have strict immigration policies, like Japan. I guess Japan are, are fascists because they fucking have like explicit immigration policies to keep the country Japanese because they have this idea that we're a country for Japanese people. Obvious other example that comes to mind would be Israel. Israel is straight up like this is a Jewish state. That's who it's here for, Jews. So are they also fascists now? Now, by the way, they kind of are. But th that's not for their immigration policy. Look, if you could say, and this is what's so cheap about it, right? What is the reason why people, what is the reason why fascism is considered such a horrible thing to call someone? Why is it? Why is it? because of Hitler's genocide. That's why, okay? That's the implication of calling someone a fascist. It's the idea of the genocide. That's the fucking problem. If Hitler had rose to power and said, I'm closing the borders of Germany, and that's it, I don't think we'd look back at him as being the worst human being ever. The idea was not that he had a strict immigration control, okay? That's not the big problem that Hitler had. So even if somebody was arguing, now, if you could make, a, an like, there are lots of countries that have very strict immigration controls, right? Very strict about who can immigrate there. America ain't one of them. America lets in more immigrants than any other country in the world. They let in a million immigrants every year legally. What guys like Stephen Miller and Donald Trump have stood up and said is that that's it. Okay, this is their line is that we let in more than anybody else, but that's it. You can't have another several hundred thousand. We have no idea how many flood in every year illegally. We got to cut off the illegal immigration. Donald Trump has even said at certain times, and I know it's pissed off some of the nationalists who support him. He's been like, I'm not opposed to letting more immigrants in legally. I just don't want the illegal immigrants coming in. Okay, so that's the position. Now, even if you were to advocate, no, forget just not illegal immigrants. I want to cut down that number. Let's say we're going to cut it in half. I only want half a million people. I mean, who's to say a million is the right number? Maybe it should be 1.1 million. Maybe it should be 500,000, maybe 200,000. I, you know, I don't really know. I don't know exactly what the fucking right number of people immigrating. I think we should just have a free society. And that way it's like if people are invited in, they can come. And if not, not. But this is the problem when you have a government and a welfare state and all this other bullshit. But, um, but even if you were to say, no, we should cut the number in half. There's nothing, that doesn't make you a fascist make you a fucking fascist if you said i want to close the borders altogether that doesn't make you a fucking fascist if you go we don't want any more immigration man you know we're a diverse multiracial, multicultural society we got to blend and melt together and we don't want more people coming in right now so that doesn't make you fascist all right the boys are ready to go and here they are live the second time in the sdr studios with the song Can't Sleep off their brand new album. It is Black Top Mojo. You got it. Been out there in the city. What did you bring back for me? A vicious preoccupation with the darkness underneath. And there's something empty now in the way that you love. Is there something you're hiding? Oh, darling, I'm afraid to ask. Are you waking cause you're worried in the dead of the night? Why are you staring at the ceiling till the morning light?
And I've been sitting here waiting Still out the window of the street Watch strangers come round the corner Hoping it was you I'd see And I pretend not to notice The distance in your eyes When you pull me in closer I smell cigarette smoking lies Are you waking cause you're worried in the dead of the night? Why are you staring at the ceiling till the morning light? Is your heart pounding with a secret there you can keep? Tell me why you can't